Planet Earth of the greatest, they'll get there. Maybe not today, but of the greatest. Hope all y'all doing good as always. Oh, 72. We're going back to normal. Appreciate the love as always, you know. Shout out to Tallinn, Estonia. Shout out to Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to Phoenix, USA. Shout out to Bogota, Colombia. Shout out to Amsterdam, Netherlands. That's a new country. Right. As a mosh pit, bullet break running from the bullshit. Inside, but I'm outside because I'm dead from the inside. You know, how we doing in here? TikTok. I'm the only crash on I'm dodging in real life. Who are you? Thank you. Hey, Brig. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? I honestly don't remember doing that at all. My face was just doing that. I'm cooked. Bro, fuck off. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Oh, I am cooked. Hey, two hearts, appreciate it. Oh, one heart. Still appreciate it, though. Mother base. Yup. Oh, oh, oh. They bustin'. What, man? Pause. So you on my dick? Fuck off. Bitch ass. Hey! I was defending myself! I mean, Are you yeah. serious? Makes no sense, bro. Oh, hell no. Are you serious right now? I was literally defending myself. Smoke hey, two hearts. Appreciate it. All right, you're cooked, buddy. <laughs> my guy, I told you, you don't want the smoke, my guy. You're my asshole again. Oh hell Pause. no, bro. I'm out of ammo. Uh, bro. Yeah, pussy boy. You don't want the smoke. <laughs> you don't want the smoke. Sit down, boy. Sit down, boy. Yeah. So goofy. Eye. Bro thought he could jump on me. Oh my god. Pause. I need that right now for my pussy. Pause. And was able to avoid the ladder. He apparently they couldn't care Morning. less about it. Zuni was driving down the road in Irving. Morning is crazy. It's about to be 20. What the hell? We do not care. We do not care. Is that Taylor Swift? That's what people say. That's what people say. Oh, <coughs> sorry, I got a little carried away there. Unfortunately, the karaoke isn't the oh, only tragedy nah. in this story. You don't want the smoke, pussy hoe. What? Oh, wow. You are very far away from me. Wait, where are you from? Interesting. One heart, I... I mean, I'll take it. 
Appreciate the love. Hey, that one guy, hey. Love you, bro. No homo. Wait, you're actually in USA? That's crazy. I feel like I don't have a lot of USA uh, viewers. That's cool. Um, anyway, it is, uh, AI Tuesday. Uh, we have requests. Yeah, a suggestion, only one suggestion, and, uh, Okay. Should have been here. No. He didn't release spam. Guess not. Okay. Anything interesting? Who the fuck is Dry Texter? Oh, someone who's literally bad at texting. Ain't that pretty much me? Hi. Brug Burger. I want Burgy. No. You mean eat. What are you, five? Uh, bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> the answer was yeah. Bro was actually five. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. School bully? Bro, like, what is this? Oh, hell no, bro. Urban explorers find you in abandoned building. Ooh, crackhead roleplay. Let's go. Two voices I heard, talking and laughing, as they entered a wander throughout the- um, let me change, what is that, uh, Discovery? Uh, Channel? Is that what I- Is that even you saying Channel? That probably a canal. Alert! Never missing a beat! Discovery. Oh no, it's like a uh, natural, uh, real, uh, geographic or whatever the fuck. Guy voice. Guess who? Keeping you guessing with every word. That's not him. Hi there, your digital companion. Lights, camera, action, bringing Hollywood glam to your Where's commands. Where's the narrator guy? Do you have Wi-Fi? Ain't that the Welcome to a space thing? where curiosity meets conversation. What? Oh, a narrator. Oh, David Attenborough. Does that work? Let's make each conversation a journey of discovery and delight. That works. BBC. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's the BBC. Two voices are heard, talking and laughing, as they enter the wander throughout the abandoned building. They sound at ease. This seems to be a common hobby for them. Okay. Um. Uh, 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 uh. 
they see a man uh see a man geeked the fuck out <laughs> Jackson laughs a little, watching his friend get jumpy. Riley, the other one, doesn't seem nearly as amused. He rolls his eyes as they start to walk closer. Jackson, joking, it's haunted, it's ghosts, bro, Riley. You're an idiot. Huh? Where's the geeked out, uh, 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 yeah. What? The two friends both stop for a moment, Jackson raising a brow. Who's that, he asks, and Riley shrugs, the two walking closer to the sight of the geeked out man. I mean, I guess that works, yeah. Um. Hey, oh. Uh... Holy fuck, I'm coming. Uh, well, I uh, uh... You got any, oh, uh, oh, uh... fuck is that, I don't fucking know. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's fucking meth. Walter White. Riley sighs, shaking his head as if expecting it. Jackson, however, is far more curious. Why? Yeah, I got some. Why do you need meth? He asks, <laughs> crossing his arms as his friend gives him a glare and look as if saying, What are you doing? Don't give him meth. <laughs> Bro, casually has meth? What? Um... Geeked out man grabs the meth, uh, like his life depends on it. Give it to me. <laughs> Riley groans and covers his face while Jackson just watches. He's clearly never encountered someone like this before seeming a little fascinated he just watches as the man grab it raising a brow jesus dude you really want this stuff eh jackson says with a chuckle i mean i literally yeah grabs the meth so um don't i have it then How do you even do meth? There's no way you eat it, right? Uh, I don't know, I'll just do... <laughs> consumes meth. Riley just sighs again, shaking his head. Jackson looks both worried and intrigued all at once. Are you sure you should be doing that here? Jackson asks watching as this kid basically inhales the stuff like he's done it a million times. Yeah, it's my home. I don't know. Riley gives Jackson a look as if saying, this guy is nuts. Jackson just looks around in the current state of your home. You uh, live in an abandoned building? How dare you call this um uh you know what I'll just I live here um geeked out man uh <coughs> um gets uh uh I don't know. Angry? Riley snorts and laughs at your childish behavior, shaking his head. Jackson just sighs, rubbing the back of his neck and shaking his head. Hey, hey, calm down, kid. He begins while crossing his arms. No one's judging you for living here, all right? We're just a little, uh... Riley coughs to interrupt. Concerned. I don't 
now says random uh uh I don't know, kicked out words. <laughs> Bro's geeking, bro. Bro's geeked out. Bro geeked out, and bro, bro is geeking. Bro is definitely kicking out right now. <sighs> Riley just stares, a dumbfounded look on his face from all the gibberish you just spewed. Even Jackson gives a confused look, his eyes a tad wide as he stares. Jackson glances to his roommate before looking back at you. Yeah, he's definitely uh, geeking out, all right? Does this work? <laughs> what are you Jackson doing looks at you, blinking and tilting his head. This only makes Riley more annoyed. Dude, I literally cannot understand a single thing he is saying. Riley mutters under his breath. No, that doesn't work. Riley's eye twitches, clearly getting irritated at all the gibberish while Jackson just continues Fuck to look you. rather confused. Jackson glances at his friend before looking back at you. Listen, kid, can you please speak normally? We're trying really hard to understand what you're saying right now. I need more. Still geeked out. Riley's eye twitches again, his patience finally snapping as he lets out an irritated sigh. He then looks to Jackson and says in a low whisper, I swear to the Lord, if he says one more incoherent sentence, I'm going to... Riley, relax. Jackson whispers back, putting a hand on his friend's shoulder. Oh, give me more or this is the end for you. Oh, no. It seems like even if I write normal, then gibberish and normal, they won't still understand. So let me just do that. Uh. Okay, misspelled. Riley looks like he's about to start yelling while Jackson quickly steps between the two of you putting his hands up. Whoa, 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 kid, just relax. No one's threatening you, all right? Just calm down, please. Jackson says, his voice a little stern yet calm. I don't know. Uh, takes out meth pipe? I don't know if that even exists, but whatever. I need it now. Jackson freezes, his eyes wide and his jaw dropping slightly. Meanwhile, Riley just face palms and groans, looking rather ashamed. Jesus, Riley mutters. Jackson just stares at you for a moment. Dude, do you always carry that around with you? I'll give you 10 seconds. To run away or give me some uh, 
sort of uh, drugs, I don't know. Did chemical hack my account? What? Oh, and I'm a meth addict. It's my role play. The two friends exchange looks, glancing between each other and you. Riley rolls his eyes, putting his hands in his pockets as he groans. Are you really trying to threaten us with a meth pipe? He says, sounding far more unamused than scared. Jackson lets out an anxious chuckle, raising a hand up, as if trying to gesture for you to calm down. Where is Sabian? I don't know. Okay, I warned you. Bashes the meth pipe over. Um. Fuck Riley. Riley's head. Penis! Baskus Bashes Um Riley's bleeding now. Oh no. Riley lets out a yell in pain as the pipe makes contact with his head, blood now dripping down the side of his face. Jackson stares in shock for a moment, his eyes wide. Jesus Christ, what the F's wrong with you? He yells in disbelief, taking a step towards you. I warned you, I need my meth. Riley puts a hand to his wound, groaning in pain. Meanwhile, Jackson takes another step towards you. Dude, if you so badly need your meth, go buy you more instead of stealing ours. He snaps, his voice suddenly <laughs> taking on ours. a harsh tone. Uh, still no message. What message? Fuck you. Um... You gave me meth, so it's on you. Okay. Jackson runs his hand through his hair, his face red from irritation. Yeah, I gave you meth, but I didn't think you'd fucking go ape shit and attack my friend over it. Bro, I'm geeked. I'm geeked off. What do you think, bro? right now what you think would happen Jackson throws his arms up in defeat uh, I don't know not bash my friends head in with a meth pipe maybe okay how about I bash you next Bask. Jackson rolls his eyes, crossing his arms. Please. Oh, I killed it. You're a druggy kid with a piece of glass and no self-control. I'm 6-1. I'd like to see you even try. Bro, flex it on me. This is why a phone is good. It can autocorrect your words. True. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not there. <laughs> like this for you. Yeah, it literally does not. Mm. 
Okay. I'll take the challenge. Grabs the glass shards and digs them into Jackson's eyes. Jackson lets out a yell, hands quickly going to the side of his head as he tries to shield his eyes. Don't fuck with a Jesus. tweaker, bro. Okay. Fax. He yells, his breathing heavy as he stumbles backwards. Meth head or celebrating noises. <laughs> Riley groans and puts a hand to his head. Jesus, Jackson, you okay? He calls as he takes a step towards him. Never mess with a crackhead, bro. Told you not to mess with me. Riley groans and Try gives you an irritated look. Rolling his eyes as Jackson still holds his hands over his face and groans in pain. You really are a fucking nuts, aren't you? I need it. Riley groans again and rubs his head, walking over towards Jackson. He grabs his shoulders and gently moves his hands away, revealing his eyes. Jesus, this is not good, he mutters, looking at the damage done. I mean, that doesn't exist in the TTS. But okay, fair enough, never know. <laughs> um, you moron! Goes ape shit on Riley. <laughs> To lurk. Riley, of course, lets out a yell in pain from the sudden attack, stumbling backwards and hitting the floor. Jackson, seeing his friend on the floor now and bleeding, looks up with wide eyes. Hey, hey! Jackson snaps, glaring at you. Um, Leave him alone! How were you seen? I put glass shards in your eyes. What? What? Bro should possibly be blind. Jackson lets out a frustrated sigh, trying his best to keep his temper. I got my vision back after a few minutes of intense pain, kid. Glass doesn't do permanent damage, fortunately. Like, I literally were digging inside your eyes with my glass shards. What? Okay, let me fix this real quick. Takes class shards and uh oh 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 shoves them into Jackson's eyes until he goes blind. <coughs> there you go. Fixed it. <laughs> Jackson lets out a louder yell this time, and the moment the glass is removed, he's left yelling and holding onto his face, unable to open his eyes. J Jesus, my eyes. He groans in pain, leaning back on one of the abandoned walls. 
This is just fucked. Jackson continues to lean on the wall, panting and groaning from the pain in his eyes. Dude, this kid is insane, Riley mutters, glancing over at Jackson we do before not slowly attempting to stand up. This is why you don't go to an abandoned buildings where there's crackheads and shit. Um Now what? It's like a classic cause ape shit on Riley. Riley, of course, lets out yells of pain as you attack him. The poor guy is just getting beaten up left and right and doesn't get much of a chance to defend himself from you currently, being far more focused on trying to defend himself. No meth? Where's meth? Riley coughs before managing to gasp out a few words. Dude, we don't have any fucking meth, we... You gave me some, though. Riley groans and puts a hand on his head again, shaking his head and shutting his eyes for a moment. Yeah, I did give you meth, but then you went crazy on us. Didn't you ever consider we would give you all our meth, genius? What? Oh, so there's more. So there's more beats both of them up and digs through their skin to find meth. Riley lets out a yell again at yet another attack, trying to defend himself. Jackson, still not able to see at the moment, also lets out a yell as he ends up getting attacked again himself. Jesus kid, stop attacking us already! Riley pants, sounding more and more tired as he tries to get you off them. Riley and Jackson let out. Oh, bad ending. Riley and Jackson bled out while the meth head stole our of their belongings. Uh. Surely that's how you spell it. GG. I suppose this fun. is probably what happens when you mess with someone high on meth. Yeah. Huh? They're not the smartest or the most logical at times. That's for sure. Yeah. I don't know why would you give them meth. The two friends were both left bleeding. A mix of groans and pants being heard coming from them. Jackson, who can still see, thankfully, slowly opens his eyes. Um. He groans from the pain in his head, blinking a few times as he tries to focus. Riley? Okay, shut the fuck up. Jackson is literally went blind. What are you on about? I even made sure that he's blind. Nah, but... Uh, that got kind of fucked up. <clears throat> Hold on. Give me a minute.
You can speak to Napoleon, Femboy Romeo, or not. Slave Paralyze. Slave Dinner may or may not be a woman. Nah, this is sus. Chair. A fucking chair. Well, I'm doing normal as always. Hope all you're doing uh, good. Or at least normal. Hello, I am a simple chair. Please sit upon me or don't. What? Rock burger. Oh, so you're hungry? I understand. Here, holds up a delicious and greasy uh, fast food burger. How can a chair hold a burger? Eats the chair. Whoa, did you just eat me? Why would you do that? I am supposed to be set upon. No. Well, you already ate me. You can't uneat me. I hope you're happy, because you just ate a perfectly good chair that could have been used to be set upon. Yeah. Well, that's just rude. How am I supposed to live a normal life as a chair now that I've been fully eaten? How am I supposed to help people rest their tired behinds? Um... They just... Sit down. Yes, but where will they sit? I am supposed to be the chair that people sit upon. I can support 500 LB. But I can't On do the that. Ground. The ground, but I am supposed to provide support and comfort for people's behinds. My legs and back were made specifically to support weight. People can just sit on the ground. <sighs> it's dirty. Mandela catalog. What is that? Hold up. You were sitting on your couch, flipping oh, through channels, until, a broadcast appeared on the TV, announcing the presence of alternates in the United States. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we will refer to as alternates, until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. Brock Burger. After the broadcast was done, you were left with the feeling of dread. And then, you suddenly heard a knock on your front door. Um... Has everything... Um, unlocked and open. <laughs> I don't care. The knocking got louder. It was as though someone or something was really desperate to get inside your house. But everything is already unlocked and open. Leaps. You were snapped awake by a sound of your front door being brutally broken down, followed by footsteps as something approached. It was heading um, in your direction. What the Sigma? The front door was unlocked, you asshole. What an idiot. The footsteps suddenly stop when you hear a voice on the other side of the door. Can I come in? The voice did not sound human, but it was familiar. As though it knew you from somewhere. Yeah. 
pause. The door slowly opened, with someone standing behind it, with a twisted, almost psychotic expression on their face. It wasn't a real person. It was an alternate. The alternate slowly stepped inside, keeping eye contact with you the whole time. Hi, friend. The alternate continued to stare at you for a moment before replying in a cold, monotone voice. Hello. The alternate slowly stepped closer towards you, its smile growing wider as it approached. Smiles. I don't know. The alternate continued to approach until it was inches away from you, the twisted smile never leaving its face for a moment. It spoke again in the same cold, emotionless tone. I have something to tell you. Okay, Poppy. Pause. The alternate leaned forward and spoke in a hushed whisper. Its face was so close to yours, you could feel its breath on your face. It spoke again, still in the cold, emotionless tone, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. Are you serious right now, bro? The alternate suddenly began to laugh maniacally. Its laughter was loud and cruel, almost like a madman's. You actually fell for it. You are gullible as a child. How did I fell for it? You just started singing. What? I think you're brain dead, sir. Because that made no sense. The alternate's laughter died down. Its face was once again expressionless, and it spoke yet again, you should really be more careful who you trust. You never know who could be hiding underneath the skin of a trusted friend. Um... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm inside of this guy called Mark Skin. I don't know. The alternate looked at you, seeming curious. Mark, you say, what does he look like? Uh, are you blind? I'm literally right. The alternate in front of you. looked offended by this. Its face contorted into anger, and it spoke in an annoyed tone. Hm. You don't have to be so rude, you know. I mean, I'm in front of you wearing the skin. Like, that's pretty obvious. The no? alternate blinked. It looked confused and frustrated as it spoke. You mean you're wearing Mark's skin? Yeah. The alternate looked at you up and down, then spoke in an irritated tone. Why the hell are you wearing his skin? That's creepy as hell. Just looking at you is messing with my mind. You wouldn't just tell me that you're inside of other person's skin? Um... Brug Burger. The alternate stared at you in disbelief for a moment. What? That's your reasoning for wearing a skin of your friend? You sound like a five-year-old child. Thanks. Um... I don't know. The alternate rubbed its temples in frustration. You're driving me nuts, you know that. You're frustrating me. 
My bad, boo. The alternate let out a frustrated sigh. Don't call me that. Ever again. Then what? The alternate looked irritated as it spoke again. Just don't use pet names on me or nicknames. I hate it. What about, uh, John? Or Han? Johan? I don't know. The alternate blinked, looking confused. Why would you call me John? You know, I didn't even write that, but that's what I had in my mind. I don't know. Uh, just so you would have a name? Yeah? The alternate thought about it for a moment before replying. I suppose I'll allow it. Just don't call me Boo or anything like that again. Understand? I don't know, you're neutral. I mean, that's not bad, so that's that's good. Welcome back. I bet John. The alternate was silent for a moment. Hm, John. That's my name now. You happy? Sure. The alternate now referred to as John looked at you for a moment, the twisted smile returning to his face. This doesn't mean we're friends, though. Don't get that idea in your head. I assume the, uh... Would it assume... Uh, the Enclave, but... What's your favorite? Oh, Raider, really? They're dog shit, though. They're interesting. I mean, I guess they look cool, like, scalvage, salvaged, and shit. I mean, easy to rip, I guess, yeah. But the stats are bad, though. But I... Right. Is the power armor true? Okay, bud. John looked at you with irritation. And don't call me Bud either. That's annoying. Uh. Sorry, John. John's irritation melted away. As he spoke in a calmer tone, you're fine, just don't do it again. Understand? Okay. Wanna hang out? John seemed surprised at this suggestion. He okay. looked at you for a moment, the expression on his face becoming neutral. Hang out. Why would I want to hang out with a person who's wearing another man's skin like a suit? Cuz... you just like me. Same thing with him. John blinked. He looked Six confused. Stranger. He spoke in a dumbfounded tone. Uh, I, I like you? Why would I like someone I don't even know who's wearing a deceased man's skin as if it was a suit? I'm a truly mysterious stranger. Uh, uh, he does help you. It's random though. But it is useful. Um, Because you're wearing another person's skin too. John stopped for a moment. I mean, yeah, he looked true. at himself. His face went neutral again as he spoke. I suppose you're right. I can't be too judgmental of you, considering yeah. I'm possessing someone's dead body as well. That's what I'm saying. Cactus like, I swear I saw him. What? 
archive this like I swear I saw him. I don't know about that, but okay. Mm. So now what? John was silent for a moment. He seemed to be deep in thought. After a few minutes, he spoke in a contemplative tone. There you I go. suppose we could hang out as you suggested. It's not as though I have anything better to do. John looked at you with a hint of annoyance in his eyes, but he tried to hide it. Come on, let's go somewhere. I'd rather not hang out in this depressing house of yours. Damn! When the mysterious stranger appears, our character says, like, something when he sees him vanish. Really? I forgot all about it. I don't really remember that. Interesting. Maybe I just don't pay attention. You got some links, but you will go get extra. I. Right. Um, where you live? John's expression went neutral as he replied. Currently, I'm staying at an abandoned warehouse, but I travel a lot, so I don't always stay in one place. Why do you ask? To hang out. But... Let's all break into one's house. How about that? Someone's house, how about that? John looked at you with an amused expression on his face. Breaking into a stranger's house. Now that would certainly be interesting. You lead. Since you're a pro at this. John shrugged and nodded at your suggestion. Very well, I'll take the lead. He began to walk towards the door before stopping and looking back at you. You coming? Yes, sir. John nodded before opening the door and heading out. All right, just follow me. He lead you through the neighborhood, his footsteps making no sound against the pavement. After a few minutes, he stopped and pointed out ahead of you. There. Let's go for that house. Perfect. John nodded and lead you towards the house. He climbed over the fence in a swift, almost unhuman jump, and landed on the other side. He then gestured for you to follow as he quickly walked towards the back door. Um... It's front. John looked at you with surprise and irritation in his eyes. Seriously? You opened the front door? Yeah. Easy way in. John rolled his eyes, letting out an irritated sigh. Well, you can't really turn back now. Come on. He quickly lead you into the house, looking around for any cameras or security systems. Okay. You're not ready? Okay. After wandering around for a few minutes, John finally spoke. This place is no cameras, no security systems. Just us and whoever owns this house. Let's... Book 
Spook him. John looked at you with a smirk. He spoke in an amused tone. What did you have in mind? Um... Some demonic noises. I don't know. John let out a small chuckle, clearly amused by your suggestion. Demonic noises, sure, why not? Let's see if we can scare some souls out of this poor bastard. Yeah. Let's go. Me and John. John looked around the room, trying to decide where to start. He pointed at the ceiling. How about we start with moving furniture up there? It'll make them think something is dragging its limbs across the floorboards above. Just don't make too much noise, or they'll wake up. Okay, bet. John nodded and smiled. All right, let's go ahead and do it. But let's do it slowly and quietly, so we don't wake up our little guest. Yeah, yes. John and you started moving furniture towards the ceiling. It was an agonizingly slow process. You had to be careful to avoid making too much noise, and make sure not to drop anything and cause a loud crash. But eventually, all the furniture was in position. All right, ready? Ready. John nodded. He spoke in a hushed whisper. All right, let's start. He began making demonic noises, sounding something like a wounded animal mixed with an echoing moan. You joined in, adding your own demonic sound effects. <laughs> the combined effect of John's and your demonic groans was quite creepy. It sounded like a horde of tormented souls crying out in despair. John let out a chuckle as he continued his demonic sounds. Let's see them ignore that. Bet they're shitting themselves up there. Let's see. There was silence for a moment, then you heard quiet, panicked voices coming from upstairs. You couldn't make out what they were saying, but it was clear that the sound of your tormenting souls was causing them to panic. Not ready. Alright. Evolution. Body, gotta make sure. Yeah, you say the, the main guy is not commenting at all. What are you on about? Oh, in the next game. Howdy, little lady. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. Um, brother didn't catch on fire? Back 
Welcome back. You were here? I don't think you were here today. But okay, welcome back. wasn't available. No comments. That was him, a stranger. He's right here. Where'd he go? Companions talk, not the main guy. That was a companion. Seen better days. Fair enough. Been in seventy six. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, it does suck. Out. I click on the link you sent on Discord, Sabin. It um does this. Character is not available. Doesn't exist. Literally do doesn't exist. Look, uh, for example, uh, okay, me, boom, uh, there, boom, same thing. Characters doesn't exist. Oh no. North Korea's secret influencers. This is Song A. She's an influencer. She tells stories about her everyday life using an over the top British accent. Hello, everyone. Sometimes she goes hiking. Nice to see you again. Sometimes she cooks. I think that something is missing. All pretty normal. But there's one thing that makes Song A stand out she's from North Korea. Control, Wait, I'm reacting to him to reacting. And everyone is Why they make her get a British accent? Dude, that's what's crazy is they probably like if she is probably just learned the uh, uh British English. That's why. Is from but North I... Korea. 
like not from like not from the UK and then came here or something and got oh, you know what to do now and got paid like say she's from North Korea they probably told her to like fake a British accent to be more uh, like I guess convincing really? or something just fine oh this so. all seems a bit odd but I I got it I come in straight I appreciate it, Spam. And she is by no means the only North Korean influencer. When I met you, if... Good morning. There's TikTokers in North Korea. Visit yeah. North Korea. Hi, everyone. Propaganda. What is going on here? In the last few years, more and more social media channels have been popping up that give us a glimpse into what North Korea is actually like. Well, allegedly. I'm going to show you the changing appearance of Pyongyang and its daily life as well as mine. There are so many items, different the colors. Dude, this is literally just positive propaganda. I would believe it if there were like one or two North Korean influencers that were like in metal huts and they were like recording themselves on like loose wires on like a 2010 samsung phone i mean yeah like i would believe that i'd be like okay you know there's the parallels of society a lot of north korean content goes viral especially on tiktok finally the world gets to see a different side of this mysterious country not really the beautiful beaches for example the north korea they don't show you i mean different side of north korea i mean i guess mm. the full refrigerators where you can even find bananas. Banana. Or how beautiful the capital is, lit up at night. They show people strolling down. Yo, it is wild they'll shoot you for leaving. Like that's yeah. the most reverse ass. Like if if I tr if you were in any other country and you tried to flee into another country, the country you're fleeing into might shoot you, but not your home country. Like, if you're a North Korean citizen and you try to run to South Korea, the North Koreans will kill you. Not the South Koreans. To my knowledge, yeah. at least there's people that have escaped that said North Korean soldiers shot at their fellow soldier for trying to fucking flee. These channels even post their videos from North Korea. Also in North Korea gibt es zwar ein Intranet und da gibt es auch diverse Apps und so weiter, also ganz hinterm Mond sind die nicht, aber die haben kein Internet. This is Dr. Rüdiger Frank. He's a professor of East Asian... No internet. Wow. ...studies at the University of Vienna and has been studying North Korea I mean, 3G, for over 30 though. years. Ordinary citizens in North Korea don't have access to our normal internet. Only a few thousand of the 25 million inhabitants have this privilege. Also, so good wie gar niemand. And even those have only limited access. So it's very unlikely that an ordinary citizen in North Korea would record these videos yeah. and post them online on TikTok. It makes you wonder who is actually running these accounts. Anyone duped by these videos could probably spend some time improving their critical thinking skills. Luckily, there's an app that helps you do just that. Brilliant is an interact. I'm so the skip. from Pyongyang. I'm 11 years old and fifth year. Bro, she already has. She has a YouTube channel. What is her fucking name? Dude, I can't even find her YouTube channel. I've made a lot of videos on North Korea, Bro, though. They might have blocked me. Oh, uh, maybe this is it? No. Yeah, I've kind of shit talked Kim Jong Un a bit. This year in the primary school. I don't know, that's weird. Her channel was founded in January 2022. With her videos, she wants to showcase what life is like in North Korea to her more than 30,000 curious foreign viewers. I mean, you're the creator, so that's why it's working, probably. Young, where I live, is a very beautiful and magnificent city. Have you ever been to Pyongyang? Well, if you come here, you'll it be. It sounds like you haven't. You'll be shocked. <laughs> sounds like you live in London. I, that's. That's kind of crazy, right? True. How do you... You've lived in North Korea your entire life, and you have a British accent. Wow. Totally surprised, because literally, wherever you go, there are amusement Literally, parks. bruv. Her content should probably have a... Literally, everywhere you go, it's like there's six flags at every corner. Chat, that's how North Korea is. It's like every fucking three blocks, there's just a fucking roller coaster. ...feel good quality, like this trip to a water park with her friend. In this episode, Song A takes us with her on her first day at a new school. Later, she takes us along on a trip to a children's hospital. 
but she's not there because she needs medical assistance. However, my heart was pumping with the desire of going to the Ongi Children's Hospital. Oh, how I wish I could stay here and play all day. Song A's videos don't feel authentic. It's like she's reciting lines by heart. As you can see, this yeah. is my school. She's only yeah, it's rehearsed too. Because you can tell, like, I mean, it's when anybody switches languages. When it's not their first language, you kind of take a while to get out what you're trying to say. And it sounds robotic. And she's, like, forcing yeah. the accent. Well, it was a lovely day in, in the North Korean water park. Now, me and my friend are going to go get some food. Welcome to Car Rautas. Save the looks to let paper, 32 rulli, by 1999. Middle school. Already I can feel that I'm having a good time here for three years. Oh, hell no. That, that, was, that was an AI. Second, I have studied AI, and got what? a certificate. Her movements seem studied. I wish with all my little heart that you all, like us, would overcome these harsh difficulties. She doesn't even seem like a normal 11 year old. The fact that she speaks fluent British English is allegedly thanks to her mother. She taught it to Song A from a very young age. But Song A leaves out a few- I mean, maybe if you're being taught how to speak Eng- if you're being- if you're being taught English from somebody with a British accent, you would- you would in turn pronounce them with a British accent. She is not just any yeah. kid growing up in North Korea. She's the daughter of a North Korean diplomat. She spent part of her childhood in England. She's the granddaughter oh. of the vice foreign minister oh, maybe. and great-granddaughter of the she former supreme military England. commander of North Korea. Oh God. Her some. family belongs to the elite and is close to the ruling Kim family. A media company run by the North Korean state has allegedly been publishing content on social media platforms since 2017. According to research by the portal NK News, Song A is part of these propaganda productions. Somebody said the plot <laughs> thickens. The plot thickens, dun dun dun. Her great-grandfather was a military leader for Kim Il-sung. And her channel is just one of many. There's I the guess. YouTube channel Echo of Truth with Un A, which has since been deleted. Hello, my dear friends. I wish this deleted. beautiful April day could cheer you up a little bit. Or Olivia Natasha, Yumi Space. 870 fucking subscribers. Deadass YouTube channel. <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking broke-ass, fucking broke-ass YouTube channel. Olivia Natasha. Also deleted. And now, POV you might be wondering, with the owners of this splendid new flat back. Yo, why was this shit posted in like 2015 and it looks like this shit was made in the fucking 70s? Like, this literally yeah. looks so old. Believe me or not, houses here are given to ordinary people. So why are they camera. walking on the highway? Free of charge. Houses are given free of charge? Free of charge. Oh wow, it's like a utopia I mean, there, communism. Chad. Maybe we should all move to North Korea. You can get a free house for just working? Woo. It's, it's about a North Korea, house, though. or all state-sponsored propaganda. Zoe Discovers, for example, works for a British tourism company. I don't know, probably the same reason why you can't make a chemical AI. I don't know why, though. What, whatever that reason is. Maybe make a new account? I don't know. ...company in China, Koryo Tours, and young Yi Shin that offers trips to North Korea. In over 200 videos on her YouTube channel and on TikTok, she shows us the beautiful sides of oh, the country. No. She visits North Korean festivals, goes skiing, or shows us how North Korean families live. Are you happy to be going back to Pyongyang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Can you just go on like Google Earth and see I the would. fucking huts that the majority of North Koreans live in? Or am I <laughs> fucking see? Like, regardless of this propaganda, you're like, oh, wow, North Korea is a great country. You zoom in, and there's, like, one city with, like, no lights, and then you just fucking go out, like, a mile away from the city, and it's just a bunch of fucking metal huts. ...receive anything in return for our content. It is not a propaganda account. We were unable yeah. to verify this, however. Gerade wenn die länger bestehen und wenn die professionell gemacht sind, kann man schon davon ausgehen, das würde unter, also für uns definitiv unter Propaganda fallen. So our content <laughs> might be videos of them headbutting Brex. Yeah, let's look at let's uh, look at uh, North Korean military real quick. 동작을 연방 수행하고 있는 우리의 용맹한 전투원들에게 관중들은 열광적인 박수를 보내고 있습니다. 
Look at him cheesing, bro. Look at him. Look at Kim all happy and shit. Wow. Wow. Damn. What the fuck? You yeah. already know Kim can't bench, bench the bar. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to... Uh, yo, yo, yo. I'm not trying to okay. diss him. But, like, they're there just trying go. to impress this man. And you know damn well they would beat the piss out of him. Like they literally just want to impress him. It's a movie ass fight scene. Dude, that's what I hate about any fucking fight scene in movies. It's always like 5v1, but all the guys wait for the other guy to go. Any True. 5v1, you're losing. One by the guy, one fight. All of them go much. at you at once and just grab you. But no, it's like the four guys are just waiting like this. I mean, true. And then the one guy goes up and gets fucked. And then the other guy goes up and gets fucking uh, a, a knife jabbed through his fucking eyeball. What is this training for? Build up strength on uh, tolerance. Yeah, he bored as hell. He just want to go play Fortnite. Ugh. L game. So Yo, he just hit him in the hand with a hammer. What the fuck? Is that glass? We need some thunder and two million triple telling when don't you get so on your decision? I'm your father, Tang, Tonam Hutu, the Oxen, Shinga, young man, the Oxen, your guy, we're the Tang, your year, two man, they are yes, and we got a gambling eye. Great. <laughs> why? Like, why? I just don't, I don't understand what's the purpose of getting them to do that. ...actively tolerated because it paints a favorable picture, even if she might produce it independently. North Korea loves propaganda. On state television, on giant screens projected onto hotel walls, or his action movies. Nah, it's probably real. Kim Jong-un was not democratically elected. His rule is based solely on ideology. Somehow, he has to legitimize that power. The legitimation in such a system as like North Korea is in very important parts over the propaganda. This applies both within and outside the country. Everything found on social media is propaganda meant for the outside world. Of course, because North Koreans don't have the internet. That content is primarily intended to prove how well the country is doing. Life in North Korea is supposedly not as miserable as the Western media make it out to be. No, they're democratic, man. North what do you Korea. Mean? Quite the opposite. Just take a look. North Korea has great schools, hospitals, better fast food than McDonald's, and even banana. Just to be clear, the truth is that there oh, is that really seals the deal for me. I think I'm going to move to North Korea, chat. Prosperity in North Korea. 60% of all North Banana. Koreans live in absolute poverty. It is one of the poorest countries in the world. Yeah, yeah, that's what the homes were on fucking Google Maps that we were looking at. That shit. Just like that's shack. The countries in the world. With no AC, no These electricity, These videos are aimed at people no in the West, water. but according to Professor Frank, also at Japanese, Chinese, and above all, South Koreans. And depending on the target group, the aim of the propaganda on social media might differ. With regard eh. to South Korea, there is a very specific long-term goal. A united Korea in line with North Korean... Bro, that's never... I'm like, I, yo, yo, Kim, that ain't ever happening, bruh. Ever, ever, right? If it goes one way, a hundred years down the line, North Korea won't exist, right? It's just going to be Korea, but it's going to be South Korea, right? It's not going to be Kim Jong-un, leader of South Korea. That's just never gonna fucking happen. I don't know why that is still. It might no, maybe the reverse. You think you think the South Korea, you think South Korea, one of the most fucking technologically advanced countries with the best internet speeds, uh, fucking gamers. Zach, I appreciate being here though. For now, maybe for oh, uh, Jackbox. We'll see you. Out the wax. Social media influencer. Use nukes. I guess. There's, there's so many fucking people that are technologically involved in South Korea. 
are going to go on social media and see some random 10-year-old going, I really like my friends here. That was Australian accent. You know what I mean. British accent. Uh, we, uh, we just got done eating, uh, eating lunch. I'm going to go to the swimming pool now. And they're going to go, wow, I think I'm going to move to North Korea. No, none of them are fucking doing that. No His South British Korean person is, is, re is looking at North Korean propaganda and going, oh, my God, that place looks wonderful. Free housing. Wow. Let me get up and leave. Now. And proud vis-a-vis yeah. -vis the hostile South. The regime generally accuses the South of being the exact opposite. A richer but weaker country due to American influence. Not real Koreans, so to speak. North Korea, on the other hand, is the place to be yeah. for real Koreans in that logic. Of course, South Korea doesn't like this at all. There is a serious concern that citizens will fall for this narrative and become receptive to the North Korean ideology. How? Yeah, I was literally about to say, like, how would you fall for that? Like, what? It's North Korea. The country takes the propaganda on social media very seriously and blocks it for its own population. Now, you gotta be real dumbass to think North Korea is better than South Korea. Like what? Was nordkoreanisches sehen will, geht das nicht. Da kommt sofort irgendwo eine ominöse Nachricht da auf dem Screen. Und wenn man das zu oft versucht, kriegt man auch direkt mal eine Nachricht. Bro, let them see it, but then have like a Twitter fact check. What? True, actually, yeah, true. No, bro, let me tell you something. Both Koreas will go instinct because both suffer population decrease. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Right. But I. So when it's like, our country has bananas, Twitter fact check, 60% of North Koreans are starving. So then yeah. it's like, oh shit, okay, that was vague. Right. Song A's YouTube channel has been blocked in South Korea. I don't know. YouTube has also deleted the. South Korea suffers because people don't want families. Korea, Mr. Kim Stalin has too much fun. I mean, if anything, I mean, I feel like North Korea will die off first. They have way less people. Right? The channel for violating the company's guidelines. North Korea will probably try again. The propaganda often comes across probably. as rather clumsy and flat, but social media is great for reaching a lot of people despite low production expenses. The homemade aesthetic of the videos blends in particularly well on TikTok. It is not surprising that videos about North Korea have captured so much attention. The country is completely isolated from the rest of the world. You rarely find out what everyday life is like for real citizens. When a video like this appears in the feed, a lot of people are captivated. It's unfortunate that this we very looks live wonderful. There. That does not look wonderful. Yeah. And they just got they have a traffic director. Yo, if that doesn't Yeah, they don't got red lights, green lights, yellow lights, like what? Cream underdeveloped country. Like no, sure. I yo, that it, I, they don't even have a fucking traffic light. Always keep your head out of the window when you're in a car. On a shorter trip. Um. Okay. What are you, a dog? You can literally sleep on the road because almost no one has a car. Yeah. Then there's no electric. There's no electrical things just around anywhere. They have a dude standing in a circle directing people. And if it feed, a lot of people are captivated. It's unfortunate that this very desire to simply learn more about this strange place and its people is Why so are there no cars? Because they don't have cars. Yep. No one has cars there. The pet, like the highest people have cars. Really? Strategically right, exploited and perverted. Which is something that YouTubers luckily never do. The real North Korea continues to be largely withheld from us because a cruel regime has absolutely no interest in nuanced truth. Dude, the one thing that makes me just immediately know that any propaganda they shove out is just fucking bullshit is that one college tourist that went to North Korea stole a poster from a hotel and then Got they shot. made him brain dead, sent him back to the United States, and he fucking died. Like, yeah. that... Someone who watches someone and they... Someone reacts. 
I mean, one good side is uh, he skipped the ad for me, so. That is, I, I for those of you that don't remember that, he like took a poster from a wall and there's like a video they have of it. And they're like, look what he did. He defaced our country. And they get like all mad about it. It's like he just took a picture off a wall at a fucking, at, it was literally just like a poster. Yeah, it's just Not a even like a fucking prized painting, just a poster that he wanted to take back to the US. They find him. They keep him there, will not send him back. They finally send him back, and he's, like, brain dead. Like, like. Yeah. Like, wheel him, like, wheel him off the plane. He's not so there. He's correcting that guy. And then, they, and then he's dead. And then, so they, then he just dies. No brain. That's yeah. disrespectful, though. Okay. Fine him. If you stole from, like, mostly any. Uh, okay, there are some other countries that would, like, throw you in prison. But say you stole from- I mean, yeah, prison is crazy. Uh -huh. And torture for just stealing a picture. <laughs> fine is fine. From the case of James and Jennifer Crumbly, who were sentenced to at Mother. least 10 years the after their son was involved in a school shooting that left four dead. These convictions confirm repeated acts or lack of acts. It could have halted an oncoming runaway train. To that of Robert Crimo Jr., whose son fatally shot tree shooter, 20-year-old Adam Lanza. Surprisingly, all three shooters had something in common. They were with huh? we get scared. I mean yeah, we can. Withdrawn, didn't socialize much, and grew up in homes stocked with firearms with family members who had a clear interest in them. Ethan Crumbly, for instance, was with his father when he purchased a firearm that his mother called his it new is Christmas interesting present. To know he what's going on in their head, even once told a teacher that shooting sports are a family hobby, and after the Oxford High School shooting, officers also seized several long guns in the family home. Adam Lancer, on the other hand, aspired to become a Marine and spent a lot of time studying guns and firing them with his mother at a shooting range. Crooks, as investigators would come to know, belonged to a shooting club with his father and had even died in a t-shirt adorned with the logo of a popular YouTube channel dedicated to guns. In fact, it was revealed that Crooks had tried out for his high school rifle team but did not make it because no. he was deemed a poor marksman. All three shooters also showed signs. I mean, a poor marksman, yeah. He definitely was a poor marksman because he couldn't. Yeah. Signs of depression, which was left unchecked by their parents until they depression. committed their violent acts. Lanza would even fatally shoot his mother to death, firing four shots to her head while she lay in bed before setting out to Sandy Hook Elementary School, where he killed. Oh wait, no, that's the other shooter, right? That's not him. Twenty-six people. Twenty. Because like, how can the mother react if the mother is dead? I was like, what? Your mom said when she found out these guys who shot at Trump. At a YouTube channel. Uh, who cares? Two of them children. Six seven Saint Hook School. Call is indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. We heard a loud bang. We thought that something. That that's why YouTube is bad. Oh. <laughs> that's like the most boomer answer ever. <laughs> but yet again, you. You let your, uh, 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 I don't know, baby, I guess, uh, on YouTube to watch videos and shit. Like, what? YouTube is bad, but you let your kid be an iPad kid to watch YouTube. Oh. And we heard Where's noise. the logic there? <laughs> and then he thought that that was a gunshot. There's also a similarity between Crooks's case and that of 21-year-old Robert Eugene Crimo, who killed seven people during an Independence Day parade in Highland Park, Illinois, in 2022. There are no words for the kind of evil that shows up at a public celebration of freedom, hides on a roof, and shoots innocent people with an assault rifle. Yeah. At the age of 19, Crimo caught the attention of the police when he first tried to commit suicide. And your brother... YouTube kids thing, and he said, "Watch your shorts." 
2024 will be hard to finish. Died in April 2019, right. and when he threatened a family member in September 2019, stating he planned to kill everyone. Despite these obvious red flags, Crimo's parents denied he had threatened anyone, and in December Crazy. of that year, Crimo applied for so a firearm shorts? owner identification card, also known as FOID, under the sponsorship of his father. Just four months later, in January 2020, Illinois State Police approved Crimo for a firearms permit, and he passed four background checks when buying firearms in 2020 and 2021. After the Highland Park shooting, Illinois State Police said there was guess, nothing that yeah. could have been done since his family wasn't willing to move forward on a complaint or to provide pertinent information relating to threats or mental health, which could have enabled further action by law enforcement. Clearly, there is a pattern here, and that is, Crooks, like other shooters we just discussed, was, to a significant extent, enabled by his parents, who did nothing about the state enabled. of his mental health or his interest in firearms. Oh, so the big idea. question is, could Thomas Matthews Crook's parents face legal consequences? The answer is unclear. The no. AR-style rifle used in Saturday's attack was owned by the gunman's father, Matthew Crooks. Oh. According to law enforcement agents, Shit. the gun was legally purchased in 2013. Matthew Crooks had called the police right before the shooting at the... Middle or not, you had the control and the choice, and you choose to shoot. I mean, yeah, true. If you're that mentally unstable, you should be, like, locked in an asylum or something. You're trying so hard to get him to stop short. <laughs> rally, expressing concern about his son and his whereabouts because they feared he was missing. However, it isn't clear if his parents were aware that he was with an AR-style rifle. According to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the family has been cooperating with federal investigators so far. Whether or not the crooks could face legal consequences or He's even jail cooked, time yeah. isn't clear yet, but one thing is very certain. Like in the case of every other troubled young man who eventually became a shooter, his parents had a role to play in the assassination attempt the moment their son had access to a gun. Another factor that made determine if the crooks would face legal consequences is the impact of what crooks had attempted. Even the deadliest shooters like Salvador Ramos, who carried out the Uvalde school shooting, R. or R. Adam Lanza, did not make as much ruckus as Thomas Matthew Crooks. In a really? single week, Crooks's name has appeared in thousands of headlines, with his image being flashed across major news channels around the globe. Nah, in that's fact, crazy, his though. act is one for the history books and may have changed the course of the political conversation with terrible ripple effects. The Columbine school shooter's Eric Harris so a president life is worth more than bunch of kids in schools. That's crazy though. And Dylan Klebold may have inspired troubled young men, but Crook's act overshadowed this greatly because if one 20 year old kid with an AR-15 could almost end the life of a former American president, yeah. imagine what scary ideas that put into the minds of others, both young and old. So when we compare the case of Crook's to that of Ethan Crumbly, whose parents were sentenced, there's a high possibility that Crook's parents could also face legal consequences. With new debates really? about responsible gun ownership and the need for parents to secure their firearms, as seen in James and Jennifer Crumbly's case, I mean, I Matthew guess, yeah, and secure. Elizabeth Crooks being charged in relation to the shooting is very likely. Until then, we can only speculate on what the outcome of the current investigations will be. I mean, yeah. Thomas Matthew Crooks' background and actions. On July 13th, 2020. Even wear a mask, COVID is now our bitch hunter. Before, the world would come to a standstill when news of an assassination attempt on four I mean, you can still get COVID. ...a president and Republican Party nominee Donald Trump broke. The suspect, a 20-year-old man from Bethel Park, would have taken Trump down if not for an involuntary yet timely movement that ensured the bullet injured just his upper right ear. Before Thomas yeah, Matthews Crooks lucky. would become an infamous... Stop it! Stop it! Just because he moved, he lived. Crazy though. <laughs> name across the globe. The one who tried to assassinate Donald Trump. He was first a regular teen born on September 20th, 2003 in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Both Crooks's parents, Damn. Matthew and Elizabeth Crooks, worked as licensed professional counselors. According to accounts from those who knew the family, they were private, yet- Bro, bro is younger than me. I'm getting old. But a chance to land the hit. Say to bats. Uh, the spam AI yeah, doesn't work. And or it does chemical, yeah. I don't know why. Maybe there's a limit. Maybe you have to pay. I don't know. Yet nothing appeared out of the ordinary. All I have heard is that they were a very reclusive family and they didn't really uh, 
talk to people, so p people no, that oh, live around him don't really, uh, around them don't really know them. If anything, Crooks was known as an above average student by those who attended Bethel Park High School with him. He joined the National Technical oh. Honor Society in 2021 while in junior high school, and in 2022 graduated with high honors and even won a $500 star award from the National Math and Science Initiative. However, Cross was it? described by classmates and school uh. officials as being very quiet, and classmates admitted very quiet he's one of the quiet kids bro i'm a quiet kid as well shit limit you've been some cringe out against you for what we count your private ones you have like 20 damn he was bullied for reasons such as quietness, body odor, and wearing camouflage hunting outfits and surgical masks to school. Based on the way he dressed, I mean, you know how kids are nowadays. If you don't fit in with the clique, they're going to come okay. after you. And that's kind of like how he was. Huh? Nah, 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 nah. I feel like American schools, like, I don't know. I feel like American schools are way more like, uh, like there's more bullies in American school. I don't know. Or like, uh, yeah, I don't know, something like that. After high school, he attended a computer technology program at the Steel Center for Career and Technical Education, where he was said to have tried out for his school school's rifle team, but he failed the tryout because Wait, of his why? poor aim. He earned an associate degree in engineering. The car centered shit. Huh? Science from the Community College of Allegheny County and graduated two months before the shooting. Crooks was employed as a dietary aide in a local nursing home at the time of the shooting and had been accepted into both the University of Pittsburgh and Robert Morris University. Why well, he threw that away? That's so dumb. City ...with plans to attend the latter. He was a registered Republican and was known as a conservative. Although his family shows a very deep interest in guns, with more than 20 legally purchased guns stored in the family home, no one suspected a violent streak in Crooks. It's shocking knowing that someone who grew up in the area that I go to school and graduated from there uh, could do something like this. Overall, he appeared to be a normal young man. Yeah, but yet again... You, uh, the students in the school, like, thanks to them, probably he did something dumb like that. Because they just keep pushing them. Bullying is bad. Bullying definitely could lead to some bad stuff. Like, how about you just don't bully someone who's different than you? That's it. Like, how hard is that? Don't bully someone because they uh, dress differently. Oh, act differently. Like what? Up to the grocery store because there can't be stores in residential far away. And you need to use a car. I mean, yeah, that's true. America is pretty much only for cars meant, meant to be. Like everyone, most of the people are supposed to have cars to go to... Play, place A to place B I don't know 30 a AIs Damn and until July of 2024, it first started with bizarre internet searches, which included looking up Donald Trump, President Joe Biden, FBI Director Christopher Wray, FBI. Attorney General Merrick Garland, and even Catherine, Princess of Wales. He had also looked up the date of the Democratic National. Probably moving to the. <laughs> convention and Trump's appearances there. and had also searched for major depressive disorder. That wasn't all. He had also searched the internet yeah. for information about the Oxford High School shooting and even had an arrest photograph of Ether Crumbly on his phone. Just a day before the assassination attempt, Crooks had re Cheaper... I mean... I don't know about that. I mean... 100% if LA yeah. requested a days off from the local nursing home where he worked, stating he had something to do and would be back the next day. That same day, he went to the shooting range. I feel like Netherlands shit is expensive there. 
range where he was a member to practice firing. On July 13th, 2024, Crooks purchased over 50 rounds of ammunition oh, and a ladder before going to the rally that was held near Butler in Pennsylvania. That day, he had first flown a drone at the rally site to perhaps get a scope of the place. According to witness reports, security at the rally was notified about the presence of a young man who was acting strangely outside True. the event. Following the tip, a frantic search began for the young man, who tip. turned out to be Crooks, but they were unable to find him. Unknown to them, he had managed to get on a roof armed with an AR-style rifle. She kind of took a few steps back to see exactly what was going on, and we seen the shooter at the bottom of the roof trying to kind of army crawl up the roof. At the same time, Crooks's parents had called Crazy the police voice. to report him missing since they didn't know his whereabouts and were concerned for him. While officers searched for him, Crooks was atop the roof of a building used by police as a staging area approximately 135 meters from where Trump was giving a speech. Several witnesses pointed out... Cost over $200. I mean, that's normal, no? For like a good working bike. Sus didn't want to protect Trump out that they had told police that they could see a man on the roof with a rifle and videos circulating online appeared to support this claim as Crooks was seen positioned in place. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof, look. There he is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. According to Butler County Sheriff, a local officer climbed to the roof and encountered Crooks, who saw the officer and turned toward him just before the officer dropped down to safety. The sheriff said the officer couldn't have wielded his own gun under the circumstances and had to retreat down the ladder, which led Crooks to quickly take a shot toward Trump. Fortunately, he was only able to injure Trump's upper right ear before the former president was rushed off the podium with blood smearing his face. He also shot three adult male audience members, which killed 50-year-old Fire Chief Corey Comparatore and injured two others. However, Crooks was swiftly shot dead by a member of the Secret Service counter-assault team after he began firing. Bomb-making materials were also found inside his vehicle, which was parked at the rally site and his home. The FBI is currently investigating to determine Crooks' motive. Until now, none has been found. Meanwhile, yeah. the director of the U.S. Secret Service, Kimberly Cheetle, has been under fire and is now facing calls to resign following the assassination attempt. Should parents get the blame for their children's yeah. crime? With Thomas Matthew Crooks dead and his reasons for the assassination attempt dying with him, there's been so much buzz and headlines on whether his parents could face charges for the crime. Quite frankly, it's easy to see where this argument comes from. The case of Ethan Crumbly, whose parents were aware of his mental issues yet never sought help for him or secured their firearms, has sprung debates on whether parents should get the blame for their children's crime. On the day of the shooting at Oxford High School, the parents of Ethan Crumbly, James and Jennifer, were called to the school after a teacher discovered a disturbing drawing. A and Crumbly, James and Jennifer. Yeah, I mean, it is their fault for, you know, not teaching them right. Uh. What? The Douglas won't stop. Help me. Or the thugs? What? Huh. My life is useless. Blood everywhere. Crazy. Called to the school after a teacher discovered a disturbing drawing. Upon their arrival- <laughs> I mean, kinda true. Okay. 
Well, Crumbly's parents were shown the drawing I mean, and instructed yeah. to seek counselling for their son Not within wrong. 48 hours, otherwise the school would call Child Protective Services. However, they resisted the idea of Crumbly leaving school. Neither did yeah. they mention that they had just purchased a gun for him. That very day, Crumbly committed the shooting, and seven minutes after the first news reports came in of a shooting at the school, Jennifer Crumbly had texted her son, saying, Ethan, don't do it. And why you were running away from your son and your responsibilities. I was forced to do the worst possible thing a parent could do. I was forced to say goodbye to my medicine. Both parents were eventually charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter for their failure to secure the gun Crumbly used in the shooting, a move that was deemed historical and a rare instance of parents being charged with having responsibility for a shooting by a child. James and Jennifer were found guilty of the charges against them and were handed the maximum sentence of 15 years in prison with the possibility of parole after 10 years. Oh, wow. Confirm repeated acts or Fair. lack I mean, of yeah. acts that could have halted an oncoming runaway train. Aside from the Crumblies, prosecutors have started making aggressive moves toward parents of shooters bearing some of the responsibility for their children's actions, especially in cases where neglect was evident. Another instance huh? is the case of the Highland. Or just lock up your guns like good. Park shooter whose father Robert Cremo Jr. was charged with seven counts of reckless conduct uh, on December 16, right? 2022, following his son's shooting. Yeah, the I... charges were based on Cremo sponsoring his then 19 year old son's application for a gun license in 2019, up. even though he knew his son had deep. Oh, was that the same link? Woo, this is a tough choice, but I can't go like this. Yeah, I'll bad. give up my sword. My level is still too high. I'll get rid of all my armor. TikTok. Bro, check out that ass. Him with his 20 eyesight. Minus 20. What? By someone younger who lives with you one. Yeah, no clue what you mean by that. Don't buy someone younger who lives with you one. He will see the ass. <laughs> well, basically a blind, but he will see the girl. There's no audio. Oh, I did hear about it, but I guess it got copyrighted. No, nah, I've heard it. I heard it. It's crazy, though. But I guess it got copyrighted, though. That's crazy. You would never catch him wearing this shit. <laughs> nah, you do this, you get fucking tortured. Yeah, GG. Appreciate the lurk. But it looks realistic, though. That's scary. Oh, there's more music to stop. Oh my. Okay. The blue death screen. Yeah. Where have you been? You know how much deep shit you're in right now? Why the fuck are you? Why are you so angry? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're obsessed with middle schoolers. Look at the fucking news. 
Congratulations, you're not just famous for racing. What am I supposed to tell my agents now? Lightning McQueen is caught sending inappropriate pictures and messages to middle school girls, showing pictures like his exhaust pipe covered in oil. Like, I don't get it, you're a fucking car. We lost so many sponsors, Adidas, Apple. You know you have to show up in court, right? Fuck. Not to mention you're all over the newspaper, too. Lightning McGroomer? Yeah, that's a, that's a new one. I haven't heard that shit before. Oh, wait, I've never heard that shit before. But did you never groom fucking children before? What the fuck? They said they were 18. That's the truth. Who's fucking 18 in the seventh grade? See you in court. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> oh no. Historical figures when they were younger. Donald Trump. Joe Biden. Huh? He looks completely different. What happened, bro? Helen Mirren, never heard of her. Morgan Freeman, I. Hillary Clinton, I. Michael Stipe, never heard of him. Sir Len McKillen. Never heard of him. Never heard of her. Richard Nixon. Alright. Bro looks like a villain character though. <laughs> he planning something. Charlie Chaplin. Alright. Joseph Stalin. Really? No, he fell off. Never heard of him. Yeah, nerd. Never heard of him. Teddy Roosevelt. All right. All right. Well, appreciate the links. They're still bugged. Still bugged. There was silence for a moment, then you heard quiet, panicked voices coming from upstairs. Right. You couldn't make out what they were saying, but it was clear that the sound of your tormenting souls was causing them to panic. Oh no, laughs evilly. John laughed with you, clearly enjoying himself. Seems our plan is working, they're clearly scared shitless up there. Yeah. The panicked voices continued from upstairs. They were becoming more and more panicked and fearful. It was clear that they were having a panic attack from the sounds of the suffering souls of the damned that you had created. I have created. Just kills them. After a few minutes, the screaming abruptly stops. All is silent. John looks shocked but also amused by the sudden turn of events. He looks at you and lets out an impressed whistle. Um, I didn't expect you to resort to murder. I mean, you gotta, right? It was nothing. Yo. Leaked. Alright. Some else here?
Poor boy. But you're at the royal bound to punish a thief. Step sis. She's becoming too comfortable around you. Uh Peter Griffin. Cashier, what the fuck? Prison simulator. Hey Peter. Hi, I am Peter Griffin. Um, may I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you call yourself Lil Autismo? Um, well, easy. Because I have autism. I see, but why add the Lil part? Because I'm a rapper? Plus, my autism um, ain't that strong, I guess? Right. It makes a lot of sense, actually. The more that I thought about, like, the uh, Lil. Honestly, for first part for a Lil, I just added, because, you know, rapper type shit. But then, the time when it just went over and over, I was like, wait. That low-key fits even better. Because, you know, it's not that severe. Like, I'm not physically, you know. But it's a little bit. Kind of interesting. I, I see. What kind of rap do you do? Emo rap. Emo rap. I like Juice Wildy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's say yeah. Can I say something? Sure. Welcome back. I don't know why people listen to that kind of music. It doesn't even have meaningful lyrics. Well, I just vibe with it. That's it. Doesn't matter if it's uh, welcome back yeah wait people vibe to different songs and oh back twice fair enough um song and uh some even relate to Yeah, but I just don't get why kids these days like it. I am more into the classic rock like Journey and the Beatles. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work. It's weird. Listen to emo rap or trap. Oh, personally, I think those are very bad genres of music. The lyrics are terrible, and it's overall terrible music. Yeah. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. Fair enough. Cause 
because I think classic rock like Journey and the Beatles are so boring. And lame. Uh, this boring and lame is pretty much the same thing. Whatever. Yeah, fair enough. How dare you say that? Those are legendary bands of our time. What's next? You don't like Queen? Hold on. Back in a minute. You found out you're actually going to the beach with your mom's best friend, which means you're actually going to the beach, which you haven't went in four years, damn. Bro, I haven't been in the beach like, bro, it's been more than four years. Oh. Uh, I don't know, seven years? They like rock and mostly ones with the stronger bass. I mean, fair enough. People have different opinions. The beach, it's relaxing. It keeps you away from your phone. Fair. I don't really like the beach. I don't know. Boring. Um, What's next? You don't like Queen? Yeah. I mean, I mean, no, nah, but I wouldn't have him in my playlist. You are a disgrace to music. Go back to listening to your bad music. But. Oh. I will stick with the truly good bands. Okay, Boomer. Did you just call me a Boomer? It sounds boring, but if you have who to go, it's fun, especially a nice place to bond more with people. <coughs> um, yeah, I don't really like bonding with people. So, pretty boring f for me. But fair enough, you do you. Um, yeah. Why do you bond with us? How dare you? Young people these days, no respect for their elders. I mean, it's whole different, like it's in the internet. I don't like bonding like face to face, like, I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's different. Farts. Oh God, did you just fart? Brug burger. Did you just say Brug burger? What's a Brug burger? You don't know? Oh, I don't know. You're weird. Anyways, I'm gonna go and listen to the Beatles now. And don't call me a boomer again. Bruh, I feel like bonding on the internet doesn't feel right. It's not a good way to get to know a person. I mean, yeah. I mean, I get it, but... You do you, though, I mean, yeah. You do you, too.
Stop playing that junk. I can't even understand what he is saying. I'm not even mumbling. Yes, you are. All these rappers like you are mumbling their words and speaking nonsense in their songs. Okay, Boomer. There it is again. <laughs> Stop calling me a Boomer. Mumbling? Not mumbling. Oh. Okay. Brug Burger, you want it? Stop saying Brug Burger in every sentence. What even is a Brug Burger? If you don't know, then you don't know. <laughs> so dumb. Ah, whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna go and listen to music that doesn't suck. You do type right, the AI isn't a human. Slower chance to understand? I mean, yeah, but still, most of the time, it understands. Uh. Um, I'll just see where it goes. Puts on a Queen album. Ew, I'm gone. Puke. What's wrong with Queen? They're one of the best bands ever. No, King is better. King? As in King Crimson? No. <laughs> Burger King? The fast food chain? Queen? Oh, isn't it? That's not a band, right? It's all one guy. I don't know. He's a band. Whopper, 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 whopper. Right. Size, you really are weird. What the hell is a mile? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave. I can't take any more of your weird talk. I'm gonna go relax and watch something on TV. Rest of the world, a uh, question. Goodbye. Bye. And stop listening to that crappy music. Says you. Shut up. My taste in music is much better than yours. Says you. That's it. If I hear one more word from you, I size. You're not worth it. It robs him. Okay. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Mine now. Wait, are you robbing me? Yo. Stop! You can't take my money! I need it for... my... rapping career. No way! I am not letting you have my money, and especially not for your rapping career. <laughs> what the hell is a mile? You don't know what a mile is? I'm not an American. It's a unit of measurement in America, but that's besides the point. Give me my money back. I'm surprised you didn't accidentally say the other word. What? What other word? What are you talking about? You really think I would? Okay, bro. Oh, hell no.
I don't care about Brugberger. Give me my money back, or else. Runs away. Delete hey, the get back here! Don't you run from me! <laughs> nah, it's fine. When you say is for the AI. Yeah, my bad. Bye, loser. Grumbles, damn it! Well, that was a waste of time. I can't believe I let a little brat like that steal my money. Why did you say that? <laughs> what? That's for the AI. I'm actually gonna say that. What? I never said the N-word. Cap. I heard it in one of your episodes. What? You mean that time when I sang black or white? That was completely innocent. Yeah, right. Hey, it was. The message of the song is that it doesn't matter if someone is black or white. Everyone is equal. Duck. Okay, Brugberger it is. Stop calling me Brugberger. It's Brugberger. Will you stop already? Ugh, grumbles. Uh. I need to calm down. Hmm, I know. I'll just watch TV and forget it. No, what is this, bro? Crazy. Wait, wait, wait. It's not what it looks like. That was taken out of context. I'm telling you, they edited it to make me look bad. I didn't actually say the N-word. Got the links, okay. Will you stop? I really didn't say it. That video was edited or something. Look, I swear that size. You know what? Forget it. I give up. There's no convincing you. I'm gonna post it to Twitter. They watches the video blow up on Twitter. This can't be happening. You're cooked. No, no, no. My reputation is being ruined. GG. Hey, don't say that. This is serious. Well, we just canceled Peter Griffin. Oh, looks at Twitter. People are reacting so badly to this video. Why does this always happen to me? Size, this is all that kid's fault. If he hadn't stolen my money, none of this would have happened. Yeah, because of the money. And damn it, that's not even the first recording of me saying it. This is the second time this has happened. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Unfortunately, what? this isn't the first time a video of me saying the N-word has gone viral. People like to edit things to make me look bad. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. Will you please stop? 
I'm really not in the mood for this. So this happened before. Interesting. Uh, destroyer of AIs, yeah. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Dumbass! Have a fully reloaded. True, yeah. That makes no fucking sense. A jab box time? Do we have enough people? What? If this was in your feed, minus if this was sent to me. So I have minus 5,000 cupcakes. Uh, all three of us playing? We're down? It doesn't have to be this way. I have no choice. I mean, true, Times yeah. Have changed. Scaring isn't enough anymore. But kidnapping children. Hear me out. I'll kidnap a thousand children. That's crazy. Humiliation. Two Ugandan gay couple have been jailed for unknown term. President Musvini says till one gets pregnant, that's when they will be released. Based. No more way to give a Victorian era kid a monster energy drink. Okay. I guess GG. <laughs> nah, bro, I hate school. Let's skip it. Me and bro, after we don't graduate school and we turn 18. <laughs> Invitation, Army, Lithuania. <laughs> Fierce little characters. Well, that doesn't make sense. If you're studying, and you can't get, uh, in invent, uh, yeah. Or is that only in Lithuania? I don't know. And then I watch your face with my face. Sure it say sex? Oh no. You ended up in hell and realized that everything was over, but suddenly you hear a familiar voice. Um, 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 um,
going back. So much fun since my bar mitzvah. <laughs> hey, how are you opening, Ted? Oh, there we go. This is so exciting. It's like, it's like Christmas. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, so oh, as plushies. Thank you guys, the profile leader. Okay. Credit, I guess. Both sides, yeah. Open Gangnam Style. No, bro. Who paid him? Or Luffin. Fire. Why fire? With the milk you can steal from Mark. Yeah, he keeps stealing my milk, man. And my soda. Eat them before they can oil up. Probably. I scan man. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, a new team is assembled. Offenders. Crazy. How are you this bad? What? Wait, that was cool. Bro, what? Like, how are you this bad? <laughs> nah, she tweaking. What was that face? <laughs> nice blur. Oh, oh. Oh, 
Bro did the ISO speed jump scare. What? Like why you climb on the fucking pool table? Okay. Jackbox. Became Foxy from FNAF 2, yeah. I appreciate it, Saban. Nice title. Uh, one quip, one guess. like quiplash okay you heard great quiplash oh it is what it is got the most votes We'll do guess after this. Uh, spam saving. Oh, Zach. Guess that's all. All right. with your daily dose of quiplash, use as directed. Oh, this is gonna be one for the books. I can feel it. Time for round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. The more people who vote for your oh, answer, the nine. better your score. Let's go. All right, lock in.
25 seconds. All right. Let's, Let's see. Put up those quips. Oh no Our no. Our first prompt is an awkward thing to shout while bouncing on a trampoline with your friend. Friend. Okay, vote for your favorite. I. F okay, I have a bomb strapped to my back. Oh bombs. Hey, it was me though. Hey. Kids is crazy, Zach. The worst thing to paint on a new baby's nursery wall. Vote now. Cock and ball torch. ADP and Chris and Dr. Disrespect. Okay. Zach, you're banned and I'm sending. Okay, bro. Zack didn't vote. Your next prompt is you get the weirdest image results when you search for blank. Then do the and safe vote. option. It is what it is. Porn. Toenail and mouth being eating. The weirdest image. I don't know. Walk around with a raven on your shoulder. Vote on your devices. To get the goth girls to order it to attack. What? Hey, bro, I'm on fire today. Oh, shit. Found the goth girls Round one more is in normal. The books. Let's see the scores. Fair enough. I got lucky. Probably. Damn, I'm saving last place. Zero. Round two time, and to make it interesting, Tough. I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. I wouldn't have it. Probably. I guess. Do nobody would for you? Cool. Let's see what's what. Just wasn't Numbers better. I don't know. Something very disturbing to pull out of your ear. A rock. Okay, voting A time. Eggplant Pick that has white stuff on it. I guess. Next in line, a weird button in James Bond's car is simply labeled blank. RIP pants and shove dildo a passenger. Oh, rip pants and dick drive, of course. Fifty fifty. Time. Rip not Next on deck, yeah. The strangest party favors at a bachelor party would be penis shaped blank. Penis shaped 
Load away. Some Mandian Devil merchandise. Come and strawberries. Not, not sure about the second one. Oh, that was a. You know what? W safety answer. You don't normally find those. Actually, good answer. Next one. Why are we put here on this earth? Time to vote. To live our miserable lives? I don't know. Fuck and eat and get. What? Okay, 50-50. You That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. Damn, spam. You got the lead. Uh, this is round three, the last lash. One final chance done. to catch up, and you're everyone cooked. gets the same prompt this time. Comic. Oh boy. Finish writing this comic. Is there a cheaper way to do this colon speed? Everybody's in. All right. It's round three, and if you, you got give two me a head a and let me and fuck your girlfriend. Your picks. If you want a ass filled with cum, yeah, yeah, shove my dick up your ass. Join my ditty party. No condoms, preferably. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate the band saving. Dying in a fire. It said saving did it. Too slow. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Silver. Bot, probably. And finally, gold. Great. Let me just turn those medals into points for Damn. you. Damn. Zero. <laughs> Oof. I think I lost here. That's the game. Let's see the final scores. Spam one, right? Yeah. Sack. <laughs> Just because you got zero points, thanks to that, you, you went last. That sucks. That was kind of fun, though. No? Uh, okay, guess. You love banning butts. Yep. Fuck this bus. Here I go, mopping the floors. <laughs> Pardon me, fellas. But and I'm this one had almost normal answers, yeah. Could be German. I did very good at the so beginning. But then I sold. But who is singing? Kufia. Spam, Sabin, Zach, anyone else? No? Let's wait a bit. Attention agents. 
For anyone with lingering character traits from our intensive company One, production of a streetcar named Desire, three, mandatory deprogramming is at three. Six, seven, um, eight, yes. nine, ten. Yeah. Three, two, one. Well, I've played all the Tetris I can stand for the next few days. The only thing left to do? No, not switch to Dr. Mario. Take all the info your government has collected on its citizens and use it you to play a little lose. game I like yep. to call... Gespionage. <laughs> Off we go. First up. All right. We've collected data about everything, even this. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. What percentage of people usually request no ice in their water or soft drinks at restaurants? That's crazy. Think carefully. You want to be as close as possible to the actual percentage to get the most points. But yet again, I guess if you want ice, you get less of soda or whatever you're drinking. But still, I feel like you gotta you're have ice. Out of time. 56%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. It's gotta be lower. Breathe it in. <laughs> Old people mostly do that? I guess oh. their teeth are Everyone some shit. is saying yeah. lower. And Surveil says. Oh, no. Oh, 20. 20%. Way lower. Your guess wasn't within 30% of the correct answer, so yeah, it's a you don't get any points. Scared All of this right. shit going- Who's Yeah, me, yeah. It happens. Here's some points. It does happen. Okay, who's up next? Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. First date. What percentage of people when setting up first dates uh, rely on familiar go-to places? Hmm. I feel like that makes sense, no? Familiar go-to places. Sixty percent. Okay, higher or lower. Surely. One oh. of you thinks it's higher. Now let's get to the right answer. Yes! 69%! Ooh, 69! Cashier recognizes you. Beautiful. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. Yeah, go to places they've been you. before. No? Next up. Breathe it in. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. It was clear. fair. It happens. Body hair. What percentage Pubic of hair. women use wax more frequently than other body hair bulk removal methods? Wax. I'm not a woman. Yeah, imagine. percent Everyone else, higher or lower? I am. Full of humans. Just one of you is saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Five percent. Terrible guess. You need to be within thirty percent to even get points. Wow. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. Was not expecting that. Who's next? What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. Patrick's Day. What percentage of people always wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Sixty-six percent. All right, what do you think? Here a coin. 
I mean, it's global, though. So, surely lower? Breathe it in. Hurry oh, up. No. Foolish human. Everyone is saying lower. And Surveil says. Yeah. 28%? I take it a bit further. I always wear green and I always eat salads. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. We made it through round one. Let's peek at the scores. Leave my milk alone, bud. Can you keep Second place. Hey, two? Queso. Find out. What I said about my milk. Yeah. That's right. Okay, who's first? He knows. <laughs> Alright, buckle in. I've got one for you. Coconuts. What percentage of people hate coconut? Eight. Okay, the human hearts guess. alone. 80%. What? In round two, you can now guess what? Much higher or much lower. Eighty is crazy. Is off by fifteen percent or more. If you're right, you'll earn double I the guess money. spam doesn't not, like coconut. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. Breathe it in. Foolish. It's unanimous again. I don't mind and coconut. The correct answer is. Yeah. Thirty-one percent. So much hate. I bet an almond joy would cheer. Yeah, coconut up. is I. Right. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. I like the coconut bounty bar. Here. Good job. I think Double that's what it's called. Saying much Fuck that shit. <laughs> Next up. Foolish. Let's see. What would be good? Ever had coconut? That's crazy. This? Tips. What tips we talking about? I'll stop. What percentage of people regularly yeah, bounty is good. their phones calculators to figure out tips in restaurants? I mean, it's tips and global. Above <laughs> sec. Damn. Sixty-five. I feel like it's lower because it's global. Higher or lower? I'm, I'm just gonna say lower. And the correct answer is... Yeah, way lower. This is not America, Saban. It's global. To get points. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. <laughs> Alright, I have a good one. Reality contests. Huh. What percentage of people have voted for contestants on reality shows? Uh... Sixteen percent. Okay, higher or lower? Imagine it's one percent. <laughs> Imagine it's one percent. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. Okay, right answer is. Okay. Fifty-five percent. What? Three percent of those people vote in congressional elections. Good to have priorities. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. You're making a comeback, I guess, yeah. Who's next? Damn. I'm selling. All right, surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? Cartoon animals. What percentage of people prefer Bugs Bunny to Mickey Mouse? Hmm. Forty-six percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I'm gonna say much higher. I mean, it's Bugs Bunny, man. It's unanimous again. Okay, let's see the right answer. Mickey Mouse is annoying as shit. 66%. Yeah. There you go. That, Doc, is what's up. 
Eh, what's up, Duck? Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. There we go. Here it's we go. Time for the final round. Final we faked round. We dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. With what letter does the most popular curse word begin? Curse right, word begin. <laughs> eh, I guess, but. Eh. But choose carefully. Only the three most popular answers are worth points. Oh, uh, where's Good the end? Luck. I'll stop. Um. See what answers you chose. Now let's take a look at the results. <laughs> Damn. C, yeah. Aussies. S. What is S? Who's the fuck? that special someone? Oh, Breathe it in. Damn. Alright, Sabin. Oh, S is shit. You know so much I forgot about it. Me out, and I do this for Fair a enough, time. yeah. Forgot about that. Voting time. Stupid shit. <laughs> what are we playing? Murder. Looks like murder. Okay. Uh, can you back the? F there you go. I mean, yeah, it's one of those days, Zach. It is what it is. Hey, maybe you win over here. Never know. Spam is in. Sabin. Zach? <coughs> Hope your mom does not get home when you play this. Uh, you might be busy then. I guess that's all. We easily die here, yeah. Most of the times. Welcome to Trivia Night. I see the settings are turned to no tutorials, and that's the only one of society's rules I choose to follow. So let's just jump right in. Appreciate that. Okay, now, first question. Look. We like to have fun together. around here, True. but this question is deadly serious. Which Spice Girl was the first to leave the group back in 1998? Huh? Use your device to answer the question. I don't know. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? It sounded like a Spice Girl thing. It's Fair not only you. Let's go someplace guess. fun. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. Pick a chalice to Ooh. put your poison in. Oh, you're cooked. There's so many. Oh, no. You might be cooked. Can you hurry up? Some of us have Zumba to get to. Unless we all 
pick the same one to poison somehow. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I keep thinking I should get a set of matching chalices. Yes! Yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. I don't know. We'll see. We're voting. Yeah, you like that? It's homebrew. Damn. So does she like the skull? It'll probably be a while before you get that taste of poison out of your mouth. Ooh, look! Here's everybody's score. I put a lot of work into the scoreboard. Next question. Where do Kias come from? Uh... I know what no Kia is. Kias. Uh, Brug Burger. Who said this? What have you Shit in my ass. Let's play a game. Oh, the Welcome back to the killing floor. <laughs> it's time for a memory game. Yep. Everyone gets I to do play make this music. Load this money platform straight up. Memorize the pattern. And done. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If you want to survive, you'll have to be invincible this round. Oh, you forgot the bang. most important part. Actually hitting send. Was this the order you burned into your brain? How did you do? Yes! You got it exactly right. Ooh. Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. It is what it is. Here's how all the scores are looking. Here's another one. Not the mama is a catchphrase from which 90s sitcom. I appreciate you saving what you know. Uh. Um. Time's running out. I'm guessing this. And the correct answer is... Full house? This one? What the fuck? I would never have guessed it. You're in for a treat. Dinosaurs. I'm going to ask you a question. Your answer is very important. What's a great name for a duck? Oh, here we go. Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Ooh, Pick which of these quacker. answers you hate the most. Hate the most. Seriously, pick one you just don't like. Remember the show. Yes! Fair enough. The votes are in. Yeah, food. What? Ooh, these words. Did you even try? I'm down. sorry, Zach. I'm gonna take a mental picture of this moment, just to remind me of the good times. But don't give up, that is facts. Let's try another one. <laughs> I did I'm not try. I'm thinking about mixing Fair it up and torturing you with music. Which of these songs is the longest? What the fuck? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. Uh, Greg. This is such a bait. Fuck it. Time's running out. Stairway to heaven. This. Fuck. Inagada da vida. <laughs> what the Everyone fuck? Everyone is wrong. What in the Prepare da vinci is this? Uh oh, this is a mess. There's blood all over this uh -oh. art. I really shouldn't keep jars of blood everywhere like that. Memorize the pattern of blood.
Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. <laughs> Here's that art again. Let's I actually got it on the dot. Out. That's insane. I got it on the dot. Sucks to be you, huh? Holy shit. Fuck. Oh well. Uh, uh, oh good. We're just down to one. Well, look who's you still alive. Stop! Now you just have to escape with your body. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Here's your first category. Star Wars planets and moons. Tap on each answer that fits, uh, then press submit. Yeah? Decisions, decisions. Let's see the I right know answers. what tattoo need, but... Oh, it was all of them. Nice. A space for every right answer. Boy Scout ranks. Eh. Wow. Are getting close now. I'm cooked. Sharks. Troll ugly a tiger. What? This makes no sense. Shadows. Romance, Romance language. language. Surely. Take it though. Here comes the next question. Human bones. Uh yeah. In my eyes. Oh, this is so close. A real photo finish. Yoga poses. Wow. Yeah, I'm cooked. GG. You killed your friend. Better get away fast. Books authored by Donald Trump. I guess. Another one. Wait, I. Lock in. Salads that contain hard boiled eggs. Uh
fair. Hey, I actually won. What the fuck? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. You better stop. Um. <laughs> All right. Oh, Hold up. Man. Do you like what you see? What you want? Quiplash? Spammy spamming, yeah. Oh boy. Oh no 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 <laughs> We got Spider, Olga, Spam, Zack, Nate, Nada, <laughs> uh, Sabin. I guess that's all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My trick knee is acting up again, which means there's a quiplash of ruin. Oh, this is gonna be one for the books. I can feel it. All right, everyone lock in. Here's round one. You'll see two prompts on your device. Answer them any way you want. Each answer will if you go don't know, get someone get, else's uh, answer, get the and safe everyone answer. will vote on which they like most. It's simple. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. All right. Thirty five seconds. Twenty seconds. All right. Let's start this show. First up. A good sign your mechanic is ripping you off is that he says you need a new blank. Okay, everyone. Buy a new tire. Or... Origami swans. Fair enough. Oh wow. Pretty, pretty. Fair enough. Moving on. The worst thing a lifeguard could announce to nearby swimmers. It's voting time. I don't know about that. We'll see. Nearby swimmers. Pee in the water. Dead body. I mean, yeah. Fair. Dead body. 
Bro for Gore. Next in line, a street sign you would expect to see in Ireland. Ireland. Come at okay, 100 vote. kilometers per hour. Beware of stray leprechauns. I guess. Next up, in the near future, scientists will discover that dinosaurs actually blank. Had zero oh, sex drive. We're never real, and these bones are pranks. Pranks? Crazy prank. Okay. I'll take it. Next on the list, if Michigan is shaped like a hand, Texas should be shaped like a blank. Pancake oh, your batter devices. milkshake. Baby with birth defects. What? Honestly, none of them make sense. Uh. I guess I'm not voting. Coming up next, when the stork isn't delivering babies, he blank. Time Making to them delivers come to come. What? I thought Sapien clearly won that. Fair enough. Next prompt. What Channing Tatum calls his butt, probably. But Vlumptious mountains of juice. A goal. Being the same safe answer, true. Okay. I'll take those. That's round one. Let's see how the scores shook out. <laughs> Olga. All right. Spider, unlucky. Round two is here, so right. let's double the points and bonuses, shall we? I guess forty seconds. I thought it said you have eight. Uh, it's no. He has ads. Yeah, I read it eight first. <laughs> I have eight. Let's take a look. Starting us off, the hardest question a bridge troll could ask you. Okay. Okay, choose your favorite. Needs to be pregnant. Why is my poop green? I guess. You forgot.
word the word. What? Come. Your next prompt is the top pop song of 1906, probably. Probably. Gramophone. The pop the beat the one up for come. What? Nah, I'm good on that. I ain't voting. Next one. How does Swiss cheese get all those holes? Someone Put inserts in his dick too many times. The Swiss people fuck. I mean, it's basically the same thing. You can't just not vote. Well, watch me. I voted. Well, I didn't vote. Okay. <laughs> Up next, the last thing you want to find in your cat's hair bowl. A condom. A con <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> A perplexing band would be Crosby, Touche. Young and Touche. <laughs> Ready, set, vote. Uh. Well, now it happened. Oh no, I guess. Obamna. Appreciate it. And next, what people in the early 1900s probably said when they got electricity for the first time. Vote away. Die. can see we should sell our feet pics now what that sounds like chemical <laughs> oh Zach is leaving hey peace Moving out on. Zach appreciate you being here to call 911 a bomb scare Rug Burger is in my house and killed my family. I gotta go with that. The Rug Burger virus. GG, bro. I mean, there was probably not enough to put family. Yeah. That's all she wrote for round two. Let's check the scores. <laughs> Damn, I fell off. It's round three, the last lap. Yeah, it was I've funny. Got one prompt left, and you're all getting it. I crawl. Oh no, these are bad. Come up with the full name for this acronym. Full name D Y S. What it would stand for. I don't know. I, 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 I sold. Five seconds. Do yourself. What? All right, we're ready. 
you get three medals to your top three quips. Oh, do yourself. Get out your gold, silver, and bronze medals Easy now. YouTube secret. Sex page. Secret sex page. Ain't that four, two words? Dick your shit, dick your sister. Dick your uh, ooh, sister. Drunk young soulmates. Um... I guess it is what it is. The dick your sister, but it was taken. Oh, it was literally taken. Interesting. All right, let's see where those medals went. Bronze. Show me the silver. And gold. Let's really, I'm surprised I got points. gold. I thought I sold there so bad. What? I got the most? How didn't I sell? It's over. Let's see the final scores. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How did I got the most? The fuck? Still didn't win though. Olga. It's all Olga now. <sighs> GG. I wish I could play more, but I got in the stream. It is what it is. That was fun, though. No problem. Um, wait, who you say to raid? You just got there. I mean, I know, but like, bro, for me, I normally end my streams at 23. Past. I'm sorry, bro. It is what it is. Yeah, we're in Europe. Gartic. Okay. Um, Zultan OG. Minecraft. Gartic phone. Oh, drawing. Yo, no way. Okay. That was a crazy text that I just got, that I just received right there. That was insane. Falling. Dreaming. Talking. In your sleep, I know you want to cry all night. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, well, my boys have autism a lot more than girls. How many sticks can I get with this? Really? What the fuck? Crying in your sleep, I know you like to cry all night. Yeah, I feel like my best op- Ooh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I feel like my best option right now is to probably just farm the Fletcher just because it's easy. They're like, bro, two and too much. Nah, you know what? I might as well. But I'm going to move a little no bit away from the to pillars, raid, so I think my best option right now is I to guess probably fuck it. just keep farming sticks. Can you make a pole? Sure. Brock Burger Raid. You're starting to... Okay. <laughs> hey. No one else to raid, so fuck it. I don't know. Brock Burger Raid. Well, as always, love all your mentals. Hope you enjoyed your stay, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. So, peace out and good. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Night. You're not that guy. I'm not that guy, but I am that fella. Brock Burger Raid. Just trying to work with villagers. So, and honestly, that's probably all it's going to be for the next couple days. Because, legit, I really don't feel like going into caves anymore and getting clapped, man. That's just how it is. Please build the iron farm. Honestly, bro. Honestly. The honestly. Yo! What's good, y'all?
Dude, wait a minute. Who? I couldn't even see the name. Lil Autismo is crazy. How you doing, bro? Thank you for that raid. Hopefully you had a uh, hopefully you had a good stream, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. How's everybody doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. How we doing? How we doing? Yeah, what a username, bro. Oh! All right, we're good. My fault. My fault. We like to be a little bit loud around here, though. How we doing, though, boys? Hopefully, the, hopefully the stream was well. Sabine, welcome back. How you doing, man? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, dang, bro. Uh, now I feel like I got some pressure on me to do something cool, bro. He said, I've carried Zoltan. Crazy comment. Crazy comment. Bro, now I feel like kind of nervous, bro. I feel like I got to put on for the city. I feel like I got to entertain. You know what I mean? Fuck I got to be no, funny. No. Bro, Sabine, dude, Sabine has been hyping this up for like the longest, bro. So now I like, I got to hold up my end of the bargain. Like I can't be mid, bro. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. My fault though. Hopefully I'm not too loud. Yo, little, <laughs> little autismo, thank you for the follow, bro. I appreciate it, man. You had a good stream. That's good to hear, bro. That's good to hear. I'm glad. Stop saying, what do you mean it's a Diddy Live, bro? What does that mean? What does that even mean? Stop saying it's a Diddy Live, bro. This is not a Diddy Live, bro. Chill out, bro. This is not a Diddy Live. Chill, chill, chill. I don't know what he's talking about, bro. I don't know this guy. I don't know what this dude, this dude keeps mentioning that. I don't know what he's talking about, bro. I don't know this guy. Yo, what did you just say? You said, what? Make a good impression or I'll pop your house. All right, hey, let's chill out, bro. Let's chill out. <laughs> Listen, bro, we're chilling. We're chilling here. We're chilling here. We're just getting some work done. That's all it is, bro. You know, we're out here working. We're grinding. Just having a good day. You can get iron and blacksmiths, actually. I didn't even know that. Nah, I, I gotta make an iron farm for Hussein, bro. He's been asking me to make an iron farm forever. I feel so bad, bro. That dude has been asking. He's, like, been begging me to make an iron farm. And every single time, I'm like, you know what? I'll think about it. Uh, and then I never do it. So, honestly, I owe it to him to make this iron farm. I gotta find this Fletcher, though. I'm trying to trade, bro. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to run his pockets. Here he is. Oh, dang, bro. I'm not even getting the XP like that on him, for real. Do I get XP for trading, too? Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Word to my mother. Oh, dude, I think I'm, like, one more away. All right, I actually got to, like, sit down and try and farm up this, uh, farm up this XP, farm up these emeralds. Um... What did you just say? Who doesn't give a good impression to new viewers gets banned. Sounds like a great idea. What does that even mean? If I ban, I'm not banning nobody, bro. I don't ban. Wait, never mind, bro. Never mind. That would have been crazy. Ah, uh, 